You think Blanton's is hard to find. Just wait till you try these 10 bottles. Yeah. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are uh, going to give you kind of a mid-tier allocation uh, rundown. All right. So let's just put a little, little like perspective on this. Okay, so I hate perspective. So you guys really enjoyed and liked, based off views, the low end tier allocation that we put out there, which yeah. was basically sponsored by Buffalo Trace. It was. <laughs> like, it was. sorry guys, just kind of how it went down. But so we want to do a mid tier. Now mid tier is kind of hard to decide because what what price do you stop mid tier? What, what is money? Yeah. Like everybody has different expectations for money. Yes. You know whatever else. Yeah. So we did that because money, if, money, 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 money. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I, yes, could, I couldn't yes. help myself. <laughs> so Love what it. we did was we figured we would do like a mid tier, high tier, and then eventually maybe like a unicorn tier or something Ooh, crazy. Oh, unicorn tier. Yeah. Uh, oh, unicorn tier. Yeah. I don't even know where to go with this. So, but what we're going to say is anywhere from $100 to $500, we'll call that mid-tier. Yes, that sounds crazy. <laughs> that does sound crazy. It Because it, it is, but at the same time, there are bottles that sell on the shelves that are releases that we buy every day for $150, $200 that don't even go for that on the secondary. Correct. So... That is true. You know, at the same time, I say all of that, it's not, it's not like baffling, I guess. Um, but anyways... Before we start, just go ahead and leave in your comments below what you think your mid-tier, you know, like kind of like allocation should be. And uh, whenever you hate us for seeing some of the prices or some of the like, bottles, just let us know. And hit that like button. Yes. Notifications, all yeah. that fun stuff. All the good stuff. Uh, my start and you start. You start. All right. I like it. Well, uh, the one closest to me. Uh, the Old Forester 117 series. Just hitting their hard right uh, out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Only a distillery. This one is Whiskey Row Fire, which is awesome. Uh, but it is fire. Yes, it is really, really good. Uh, any of them are good. Uh, the Warehouse K is the worst, and it's the worst, but it's not even bad. No, it's not bad. It's, it's just, just the worst. It, it, it drinks like a single barrel. And so our hope is, is they continue to do this. Is the one seventeen series? They are. They are going to. Yeah, they're doing another like warehouse series. I think. Okay, perfect. So, uh, so if you can get your hands on a warehouse, these are actually reasonable. These are only from a retail perspective. 52 53 dollars yeah it's actually kind of great at the distillery because they will sell you two of these they'll sell you two of them which hey when we oh this just takes me back to high angel share when they let us have four. Oh my gosh whenever we can <laughs> oh gosh it was so awesome it was so awesome yeah uh so anyway uh take the opportunity if you if this ever comes up uh try to get it if you're ever in louisville and you stop by um old forester do yourself a favor stop by there they might have these uh I don't know which which version of it, but the 117 series they usually that they have them every once in a while. Yeah, so it's a good one to get. Pretty good and reasonable. So semi reasonable. Yes. All right. So mine are going to be the stag batches, uh, stag junior batches. I guess I should have said stag, or I should have pulled the stag bottle too. Uh, but this is 17 and 14. It doesn't matter which one. Look, it is. they're it, all it, in the same category. It used to be back. Yeah, I say back in the day, th two and a half years ago, maybe. Yeah. Pre-COVID. Yeah, pre-COVID. Everything's pre-COVID. Used to be able to get enough of these throughout the two releases per year. Yeah. To where that would supply me enough for daily drinkers throughout yeah. the year. We're, we're way past that date. Like, we're... we're I still haven't we're found not. one in the wild. Well, they're very popular for a reason. Dave. Yeah. Yeah, they they're, are, they're great. They, they are, they're really great. And for a long time, you were able to pick these up for... You know, at these, you know, either on the secondary or these liquor stores that charge, you know, way over MSRP yeah. for yeah. around 150 bucks. Now they've even jumped for 250, and for that price, if you find this in the 125 to 175 dollar range, grab it. Um, I found two of these. I found it was a batch 16 and a batch 17. I found both of them for 135. Oh, That's wow. awesome. You pick you pick that up. Like, you don't I, even I, think like, about it. You just you just I get thought it. I thought about it. well explain it to your wife like, or your husband later. Just yeah. get it. So I thought about it for like a half second. I was like thinking it was over. So yeah. 
These are really great though. Obviously it's, you know, I think it's the only, well, no, it's not the only Buffalo Trace. No, it's definitely but the only Buffalo Trace. But is, <laughs> it is definitely, to me, one of those bottles that I, I think is like a higher tier. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, uh, I guess stage left. We'll just go ahead and keep with Buffalo Trace theme and just say uh, the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. If you can find it, it's about as, I, this should be in the unicorn level. Should be in the unicorn level because you just, I, I, again, you, you just never see these. It's reasonable in price if you can find it for retail, but you just never find it. And so if you want it, you end up having to pay the secondary market for it. And it becomes in the <laughs> mid tier uh, level. Or if you own a bottle of it, if the fill level is up to here, you drink to about there, and then the guy who you do the YouTube channel with drinks all the way down to here. Oh, I, I kind of want to just drink a little bit of it now. Yeah, you're not, because we're on. saving it for a comparison. We're saving Come it on. for a comparison, because literally you've drank me all the way down to the point to where I only have a couple ounces left. So anyway, this was, it's well. This is actually one of those bottles, which a lot of people last year did not like. I actually liked it a lot whenever we reviewed it. Is this 10? This is 10. Yeah, 10 was good. I liked it. Nine, nine was really good. Nine, nine's better. Yeah, nine is better, but... But those bottles tend to be very special, and for the price that you find, again, I saw one. I didn't buy it. I saw one for around, like, three fifty. dollars I think, probably about at one, of, at one of those liquor stores, and I look, I was... I looked at it. I was lucky. I had a couple. I didn't do it. Yeah. All right, so my next one. You all should already know. I have to throw something brown forming in here. The new, any kind of new Jack Daniels, they're spectacular. They are spectacular. This one? Whisk borderline, if not close to pretty much any whiskey tube channel, any kind of magazine, any kind of blog, vlog. I don't care what it is. These bottles compete for whiskey of the year every year. Again, 56 bucks, 66 bucks, something yep. like that, yep. retail wise. You still find these anywhere from like 250, 300, depending yep. on the bottle. Yeah. This thing right here, I'm telling you guys right now, if you haven't had it, one of the best rides I've ever had in my life. This thing is special. This thing is incredible. This special. is so special. And y'all know me, if you've been in this channel <laughs> at all, you know that I don't love rides. This ride right here, thousand percent. Magic. Thousand percent. All right, we'll stick in the uh, in the rye category, and we'll go ahead and give you the Midwinter's Nights Dram. Boom. Always on the list because it always is really, really good. Um, this is mid-tier allocation at its finest. You're talking, I, I, what is the retail on this? 90-something so, bucks? <sighs> Funny story. So whenever... <laughs> High West had their big, um, <laughs> their faux pas release. I feel yeah, like, they, yeah, th yeah, that's a great way. Yeah. I was able to score some, um, <laughs> you've pretty much seen everybody review it yet because everybody's gotten their bottles. Yeah. I have not received my bottles, not because of High West, but literally because of UPS yeah, who has supposedly is. lost my bottle and then damaged my bottle. I've got some issues with UPS. So I'm just going to say y'all got issues with UPS right now. I sold a pair of shoes. Uh, I didn't know we were a shoe channel. No, we're not a shoe channel. <laughs> but I sold a pair of shoes. The person got the box and said it was empty. And there were no shoes in the box. Somebody somebody from UPS, because it shipped UPS, stole my shoes. What? Yes. <laughs> that is <laughs> shady business, man. So somebody, here, hey, somebody's so, drinking on your bourbon so while wearing stole, my shoes. So somebody stole <laughs> slash damaged my bottle of bourbon. 100%. And stole your shoes. UPS, y'all are dirty. Shame on you. UPS. Yeah, it's so true. All right, give me this. Thing. All right, so next bottle. Uh, personally, one of my favorites that is incredibly hard to find for this area. It really is. Uh, Joseph A. Magnus Cigar Blend. Um, shout out to my boy Josh. He actually um, he actually snagged this bottle for me, and he I told him I haven't cracked it yet. But once I do, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a sample. Because these bottles here are, I are love you gonna them. give me a sample? 
Right, you're gonna drink half of it anyways. You yes. always do. These bottles to me are incredibly special, but I think they're so incredibly unique. Most people I think love them, but occasionally people don't. Yep. And but there's the, been a couple that I didn't like. Yeah, like I'll be honest with you, the first like 40 batches, like the older, like some of the older MGP stuff, incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Um, some of the newer ones were a little bit more hit or miss. I think every one I've ever had is good, just not to that crazy high level. Yeah. Um, but again, I look forward to review. We're eventually going to review this. I look forward to it. In the new year, probably. We got a lot. We got so much. We got a lot to do. Hey, so December, stay tuned because December is going to be crazy. We got so much put out. Yeah. Uh, but again, these bottles are really good. They're about 200 bucks retail. They only go for like around like 300 ish a little bit on secondary. No. Very. So, si so, I'll be honest. So what he's saying is if you buy this at retail, just crack it. It's the the extra hundred yeah, bucks that like you would make. They are. They're. they're yeah, crazy. Just crack it. To me, they're crazy good. Yeah. Uh, my next one is uh, one of the bottles I was searching for this year is the Remus Six. Uh, this mm -hmm. all the Remuses uh, like uh, we the Remus repeals. Yeah, the Remus yeah. repeals. Like yeah. that's you want to you want to you want to find those. Um, and I, interestingly enough, is I've seen them second like going because most of the time, like all last year, I didn't see it. On the secondary market for much at all like it was rest. you but didn't you you never saw them on the secondary until like realistically like batch five yeah so now like looking at it like these things are selling for 180 to or some somewhere right around yeah. there and so um if you get your hands on one i would encourage you to drink it because this is good it's not, oh yeah it's not yeah. five it's not five, but, but it's, it's good. Still, it's still it's really good. good. And I saw somebody the other day selling one through like one through six, which I was like, mm. <laughs> what, what, "What do you? What do you let you have? Just the five? No, I would have tried the rest of them. I mean, oh, I, 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 I would have tried the rest five. of them. That sounds crazy. Good. Uh, this is awesome. So uh, pick it up if you can find it. Pick it up. So I debated between this bottle here and a wild turkey twelve year. Oh, that wild turkey 12 year. Both bottles are very hard to find. They are. I think this bottle is technically easier because the wild turkey 12 is an international release. Yep. <laughs> Unless you live in our area and there <laughs> is a certain place that will, and I'm not saying it out loud because. Um, Neat. It's a bourbon bar <laughs> over on Marchand Road. They drop them for like 150 bucks. Technically cheaper than this MSRP. Yes. MSRP is 250 bucks on this yep. bottle. Not a cheap bottle by no means. With all that being said, a beautiful, gorgeous it is. bottle. It's good. The more I, I sip I on enjoy it, that. I am sipping on it. I don't, I was lucky enough to, this bottle was sent to us. Very, very lucky about receiving this, getting this. They've only released them at the distillery by us. Rumor is they're only releasing them at the distillery in Kentucky for whatever reason. I heard it's a distributor or whatever. We'll see what happens with all that. Yeah. A crazy awesome bottle. This bottle here, to me, is a bottle that can punch up. Uh, I do think that Wild Turkey 12 can punch up, that 101, 12 year. But this one, to me, I think it's going to be more available for within reason. Um, oh, by the way, just, happy birthday to Jimmy. His birthday oh, yeah. was like two days ago, I yeah, think, something like that. Whenever we were it went, when we recorded this. Yeah, so, sure. Happy birthday, dude. It's just, it's stupid good. I don't. I will say Wild Turkey, I'm a little disappointed on the price because they've always pride themselves on being the everyday kind yeah, of bourbon for a man. Yep. Yep. But I'm not going to lie, this bottle. Yeah. It's good, for sure. So good. All right, my last bottle is uh, the Mictor's Toasted. Uh, again, in that mid-tier allocation, your retail is 100 bucks. Secondary is 250 to $300. No, it actually went down. Is it gone down? Yeah. All right. Uh, so... 180 to 200 probably 180 with a package at Mictors. well that's what it is that, yeah yeah um so uh i really enjoy this i i liked it a, a lot for what it is like it's not i wouldn't say that it drinks special it's your jam though yeah like i there ain't nothing wrong with it being it's your toasty jam. and it's sour mash which uh that's your jam which i which i really really enjoy so um if you can pick this up at retail around 100 bucks 
I think to me it's it's worth it, even though it is an eighty six proof um, uh, mm-hmm. bourbon. It's still to me worth it um, because it's not every day you get a toasted sour mash. That's true. So my last bottle, maybe one of the best bottles on this list too. Yeah, probably so. Just gonna say, or one of like best like standard releases. Yeah, Four Roses Ellie. I so for a long time I used to say like the Elijah, the Elijah Craig, the E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof, the Stag Junior, the Four Roses LA, and the President's Choice were all very reasonable if you had to get on one of these secondary sites or yeah. if you had to go to a liquor store that charges way more than MSRP. These bottles were always the lower tier, but man, they were kind of steals compared yeah. to some of the other ones that were out there. This bottle, for whatever reason, still stays that way. I, and I don't understand why. Like, this is as good. Like, I mean, it's as good as a lot of stuff that we, it's that incredible. we drink. It's in, it really is. Year in and year out, it is fantastic. And, I mean, I'm okay with it staying the price <laughs> that it that is. Way. Yeah, don't yeah. ever change. Uh, I mean, Four Roses, people yeah. sleep on Four Roses so much. And, like, I don't know why, but, you know, between... The LE, the the single barrel barrel strengths, like they just they just do a really good job yep. of making bourbon, and I'm so thankful for that. And the nice thing is, there's quite a bit of bottles of this, like fifteen thousand something. Yeah, you know, they always have a really high high fifteen thousand six hundred. Yeah, but again, like there's always like between the two batches, Stag Junior. Yeah. And other stuff like it's just crazy to me that these sit, especially with the ages of the blend and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So incredible value for kind of what it is. Yep. Um, and personally, becoming one of my favorite releases to look forward to every year. So I know I was so disappointed I didn't win, but you got to drink it. I did get to drink it, but I would rather drink it at my house <laughs> yeah, in well, my bar. So sorry, we can't uh, all do, we can't all do that. Yeah, so we can't do that. Uh, tell us uh, what your mid tiers are. We'd really like to see like what you all have yeah. have been getting uh, over the little bit. And uh, what you would consider uh, mid-tier as well. So, sure. All right. Well, till the next time, we'll see you. See you.